Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Today we will be discussing a topic that affects many of us, whether we realize it or not, gossip and backbiting. These are actions that can easily become part of our everyday conversations, but in Islam, they carry serious consequences. Reflect for a moment on the last time you were part of a conversation where someone's personal life or behavior became the subject of discussion. Often, what starts as casual talk can quickly turn into gossip. But how does Islam differentiate between gossip and backbiting? And why is backbiting considered such a grave sin? Gossip typically involves talking about others, often sharing details that may or may not be harmful. Sometimes it is merely idle talk. However, backbiting goes beyond that. In Islam, backbiting is defined as speaking about someone in a way that they would dislike, even if what is being said is true. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, clearly stated, backbiting is to mention your brother in a way he dislikes. This makes it clear that even true statements can be harmful if spoken behind someone's back. The Quran draws attention to the severity of backbiting in Surah Al-Hujurat, where it is compared to eating the flesh of one's dead brother. This metaphor highlights how serious and detestable backbiting is in the eyes of Allah. Imagine, if we understood how repulsive this act truly is, we would surely refrain from it. In today's world, gossiping has become normalized. It is often encouraged in media and entertainment, making it seem harmless. However, we must remember that these casual conversations can deeply affect the person being discussed. According to Islamic teaching, the harm caused by backbiting does not end with the person being talked about. It also affects the one engaging in it, because in the hereafter, we risk losing our good deeds to the person we wronged through backbiting. So what can we do to avoid falling into this trap? There are a few practical steps we can take. Firstly, we should follow the advice of the Prophet peace be upon him, who said, Whoever believes in Allah in the last day should speak good or remain silent. Before we speak, we should ask ourselves whether what we are about to say will benefit anyone. If not, it is better to remain silent. Secondly, if we find ourselves in a situation where gossip or backbiting begins, we can gently change the subject. Redirecting the conversation can prevent us from falling into sinful talk and it can save others as well. Lastly, we are encouraged to defend the honor of others. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that whoever defends their brother or sister in their absence will be protected by Allah from the fire. This hadith serves as a reminder that standing up for someone when they are not present is a noble act and it brings great reward. In conclusion, it is important to recognize that gossip and backbiting are harmful. They have real consequences both in this life and in the hereafter. However, if we have engaged in these actions, we should not lose hope. Allah is most forgiving. We must seek forgiveness and strive to do better moving forward. If you found this discussion beneficial, please share it with others so that we may all work together to improve ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe for more content focused on Islamic teachings and how we can implement them in our daily lives.